grammar school, not a grammar school. Just recently, the organisation Comprehensive Future, which is seeking to end all academic selection in British state schools, asked this very important question because it's arisen since in March, Kent County Council voted for um, a grammar school in Sevenoaks to supposedly expand and create what they call an annex and create 120 extra places. Uh, Michael Gove, the Secretary of State, supported them, saying this is about expanding provision within the County Council. And yet, one cannot help asking the question, is this really expansion or is an entirely new school being uh, created? Because £12 million is going to be given for a new school building. The school is not going to be situated on an existing site, um, so it's not going to be part of an existing school. And um, it looks suspiciously like a completely new school is being created rather than expansion going on. It is an important question because all the major political parties, including the Conservatives, have said that they will not support the creation of new grammar schools because they all recognise grammar schools are unfair. We know this in the areas where um, grammar schools exist, like Kent, like Buckinghamshire, the children from the poorest backgrounds do the worst because, surprise, surprise, they never get into the grammar schools. With these grammar schools are very socially selective, in, in effect creating a social apartheid in our schools, with less than 3% of pupils on free school meals on average appearing in these schools and this is actually based on research done by a organisation, the Sutton Trust, that actually tends to support grammar schools. They're very socially divisive and they lower standards overall and yet this government is clearly supporting the creation of new grammar schools um, and it's a complete nonsense to, to say that they're expanding. And I would urge all of you, as a Comprehensive Future has suggested, to write to your MP and raise this issue in Parliament because it's in direct contradiction of government policy. Um, and it's a serious matter because it is going to lower standards, educational standards throughout the country, and it's going to create misery, for, more misery, for untold thousands of children who have to take this completely unfair 11 plus test.